Hi, I'm Dr. Kenneth Fink. I'm a medical oncologist at Zimmer Cancer Center at New Hanover Regional Medical Center, Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, radiation therapy for, for lung cancer is a very important aspect of the treatment. Uh, most patients with lung cancer will find themselves getting radiation, uh, almost, almost all of them will, somewhere along the line. Uh, for patients who, whose cancers cannot be removed, radiation therapy is, is generally the treatment that's recommended. Radiation is basically uh, just like x-ray energy and it passes through uh, the body and can damage the, uh, the cancer cells. And, and in doing that can actually shrink the tumors down and potentially even cure it. Um, but unfortunately, radiation energy is a little bit, uh, is a little bit energetic and it, can, and it can cause some damage to the, the local tissues. As the radiation energy is passing through uh, the a person's body, it has to go through the skin and the, and the tissues and into the lung, and it can scatter a bit uh, around tissues that are near the, uh, near the lung or the lung cancer. There are a lot of important tissues, as you can imagine. There's your esophagus, your heart is there. And, and even the surrounding normal lung is in that area. And all of those tissues can be slightly damaged. The, the damage is usually quite small and, and usually not very noticeable, but some patients do have some trouble perhaps with, uh, with swallowing, especially as they get towards the end of radiation therapy. The radiation takes about four or five weeks, given on a daily, once a day basis. And by about the fourth or fifth week, patients are saying, boy, I'm having a little trouble swallowing. They may have a little esophagitis. Uh, caused by radiation damage to their esophagus, but that usually gets better. We have people uh, have uh, just drink some liquids and try to stay away from harsh foods, and that, and that generally works out pretty well. Some uh, people may get some damage to the surrounding lung and may get a little bit of, uh, of uh, scarring or even so, or just some inflammation around there. They may notice a little bit of shortness of breath or a cough. Um, that's usually very treatable, and can be patients can be given some steroids or some other anti-inflammatories. And, the, and that radiation uh, pneumonitis, as we call it, uh, will improve. That can happen um, as, as early as a few weeks after completing radiation or as many as a few months after. Uh, so it's not always uh, predictable when radiation pneumonitis will occur. Damage to the heart is very rare. The radiation uh, oncologists are very good at keeping radiation away from the heart and not damaging the coronary arteries, for example. And so patients generally don't get any heart damage. Long-term damage from radiation therapy is, is very unusual. Most patients don't have any chronic problems, although some people, if they really had a big dose and had a very big tumor, may have problems with their lung. Um, if the tumor is too big, for example, a radiation therapist won't even uh, treat that patient because they know they'll cause too much damage to the surrounding lung. Some folks may get a little bit of that and may have a, a bit more shortness of breath than before. Um, and that's really about the only uh, long-term side effect. Development of a, of a second cancer in a, caused by radiation energy is, is extremely rare. They're very unusual cancers of the bone or the soft tissues that may occur after a person's been exposed to radiation. This could occur years later, but again, highly, highly unusual. The thyroid is another uh, organ up in the upper neck up here. So for a person whose radiation is given high up in the chest, uh, there can be uh, potentially damage to the thyroid and they could, uh, uh, and they could uh, develop th uh, hypothyroidism or, or low thyroid function. Uh, that's something that, uh, that the doctor usually remembers to check for, but it's important for patients to remember that as well. Might ask to have their thyroid function checked uh, after they've had some radiation. So in general, radiation therapy is very well tolerated with uh, very few side effects, but a few usually uh, nuisance things that tend to get better. Um, again, the esophagus and the lung being the main, the main uh, uh, organs that are affected by radiation.